Hi everyone, I'm Sheridan Nichols, your host. Welcome to Inside Bristol. Well, we are kicking off January with Don Campbell and it is National Blood Donation Month. Blood Did donor I say month. that right? Blood donor, blood donor month. month. So all of us regular blood donors, this is our month to get out there and give and there are several ways we can do this. What do you recommend? You're really the expert here. What should we be doing? Well, you know, it's uh, one of those great things to always pay it forward because you never know who's going to need this product. So uh, you can do it at the fixed centers here in Bristol and State Street. Look for one of our mobiles. We do about 700 mobiles a year. Amazing. You could host a blood drive uh, if you want to do something like that. Or we could do it like we're doing now, talk to folks and ask them, would you come donate blood? And what's a good time if they're just sitting at home and watching this and thinking, well, when should I do this? Do they need to call? I'm thinking particularly with the State Street location. Um, what are the hours? What's the easiest? What do you recommend? Sure. We do not take, we do, don't need appointments. So you okay. can walk in anytime. Uh, we're open Monday through Friday. Uh, Mondays and Thursdays are our late days. So it's 1030 to 6 on those days. Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, it's 830 to 4. Great. So there's always a time slot that they can get. And how long does it take and how much, you know, preparation do they need to have going in? Preparation, if you say if you uh, haven't had trouble donating blood in the past, the best thing is to make sure you eat really well the day before and drink a lot of water. That helps make sure you're nice and hydrated so everything flows real well, that you meet all the criteria and your iron levels are good. The day of, it should take about 45 minutes start to finish. Now, of that, only about five minutes is actually bleeding. The rest of it's making sure it's all safe. That's great. And if you're a regular, do you, I'm sure you're just used to going in. You can just get, pop in. And mm -hmm. how often should you be donating? You can donate six times a year uh, as a whole blood donor. And so that's every 56 days. If you're a platelet donor, which is a little bit special, they can actually donate greater than 20 times a year because wow. it's the fastest part you replenish after a blood donation. That's great. Now, you are you really are the main provider for Bristol Regional, isn't that correct? We are. We actually are the sole provider for the past 35 years as we've been mm -hmm. exclusively providing blood and blood products to Bristol Regional Medical Center. So it's a, it's a neat thing. So you can guarantee that what we collect here is used in this community to help meet the needs of your friends and neighbors which is why people donate blood. They don't want it to go anywhere else. They want it to stay here local. And how much is used a year? I don't even know if you can know that statistic. Uh, un unfortunately, I do from our <laughs> side. Is We actually need around 30,000 units a year to meet the needs of all the hospitals we serve. Bristol itself will be somewhere close to 8,000. And so what's the process behind the scenes when you collect the blood and you have little storage I've always wondered that. That's, that's actually <laughs> a great question. Uh, you know, we ought to come, have you come down one time and show everybody because that's love it's to. all stored in Kingsport. But what we do is every unit has a, a couple of vials we take, and every means every time we test the, those units for diseases that the government tells us we have to test for. So every single time you get retested, but it goes back to Kingsport. The Kingsport team then separates the blood that we collect into three different products, and so when we, that's when we say it, it can save three lives because we separate a red cell, a plasma product, and a platelet. Okay. And so 24 hours later, we get our test results back. And so say we did a blood drive at the station today, tomorrow afternoon around 2 o'clock, we'll get our results. Friday evening, say 9 o'clock, it could be someone's life saving their life at Bristol Regional Medical Center. That's amazing. And how long does it last? Uh, blood lasts for 42 days. Okay. Uh, platelets last only for five days. Oh, wow. So they're kind of specialized in terms of products. One thing that we're very proud of is knowing those things, though, our outdate rate is around 1%. So we make sure that we don't call cry wolf, that if we don't need it, we're not going to say we have a desperate need. Uh, but we also realize that if you give us a gift of your hour mm -hmm. and you do that you know, six times a year, we want to make sure that you, your time has been well spent. And we do our job of making sure that we don't waste that very precious inventory. Absolutely. Is there anything we're missing? Especially, is there anything different that you do in the month of January just to honor this month? What we do is actually, we extend, uh, we have a $100 gift, weekly gift card drawing. So what we do is we realize that everyone has had a busy holiday season. They've just come off spending lots of money. And so this is one of the ways we can help give back and maybe pay a bill or two while you're down there doing it. So every week we give a $100 gift card for, uh, I think it's a Visa gift card. That's great. Yeah. So come on out. And if anybody has any questions, where should they call or should they get online? They can get online. Uh, we've got a Facebook page, so it's marshblood.com or the Facebook. Or you can call the 408-7500. That's our main line. And they'll be able to answer any question for you. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming on. And we Thanks, will, I know we'll see you again. We, we love will. having you on. And get out there and give some blood and save some lives. Save some lives. There you go. Excellent. We'll be right back.